I don't think that people are using a lot of chlorpromazine these days. Do you do use a lot of chlorpromazine? Gone no. What about the second generation drug like clozapine? How commonly used? Yes. Not much. We use, we use treatment resistance to but also some disease treatment, which you said, we use. But we have got many new generation Third generation, something like volumzepine. Some difficult cases also. Yes. Not yes. What about what is the volumzepine? How commonly used? Commonly used is volumzepine, respiridone. Volumzepine, respiridone may be better, but we need to know that volumzepine is a great, great drug. How do you prescribe volumzepine patient diabetes? Mm. Very careful. Very careful. Should come. You go for or or right. Because is a good drug, but if, if, if diabetes is a problem, in obesity there is a problem, and actually it may enhance the overall cardiac risk factor. Whereas respiridone and the newer other generation is probably superior. But at the same time, some of the phenothiazine, especially third generation phenothiazine, please please look into the QRT QT interval. That is a very important component of therapy. Because third generation and antipsychotic drug, acute interval evaluation and ECG evaluation is very important. Especially those patients where there is an arrhythmic event in between and those patients developing cardiac uh, cardiovascular problem, please consider about the ECG and please do an ECG prior to that and try to get an acute interval if possible before prescribing antipsychotic drug. That is, a, that is a strong advice which you should recommend. I think we are going to finish now and lastly an anxiolytic. This is a kind of a very, my very favorite thing. Many physicians, unfortunately, they prescribe alprazolam right and left. For lifelong. For not, not lifelong. For the next life and next life. <laughs> <laughs> I found mm -hmm. even a patient yes. with a death certificate written that he is dead, cardiovascular death, there is one but is alprazolam. That has to go with the patient. Mm -hmm. Deadly. I do just, I simply hate it. And it's so difficult to get rid of this tablet because I think it's, a, it's an addiction producing tablet. Absolutely. So how to get rid of that? And apparently some of the cardiologists, they are supposed to be a professor of cardiology, they believe that out of all benzodiazepine, alprazolam has got an antiplatelet activity. So he said, it has got an antiplatelet activity, so it will act with, is, is, is in a synergistic manner with clopidogrel and aspirin. Therefore, prescribe alprazolam. So now he becomes a slave of alprazolam, or alprazolam uh, he, uh, makes him his slave, either of these two. So how to get rid of that? What is your comment on alprazolam? Because I do not, I am a, I just literally get upset if I see that, you know, alprazolam. And yeah. they become completely yeah, addicted. Yeah, 100% agree with you. But how to get rid of that? What to do? Uh, we do like this, alprazolam is a very short acting. And those short acting, and they are much more dependence producing. What do you do? We go for a longer acting person, for example, Pranaji Pran Pran equivalent dose of Pranaji Pran we give. And then you, we cross taper it. So by, by that way, we can act a kata fruitly, or act a kata di kata da tuli doi fruitly di tehoi. Therefore, after some time, three to four weeks, amda tohun Pranaji Pran 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 This is the way, act a short acting or should be long acting di asthas fruitly di This is one way. That we take advantage of one drug known as trazodone hydrochloride in low dose. Actually, SSRI, Sertraline, Citalopram, they have maybe aspirin-like activity. Right. No, but at the same time, the alprazolam, as far as my understanding, is a, is a good drug to induce sleep, but halfway through, the patient wakes up, it becomes agitated. Right. And that actually can precipitate cardiac arrhythmia. So in the, suppose 10 o'clock patient takes a tablet, for some reason or others, there's a, you know, the, 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 the telephone sort of you know, suddenly starts ringing and he wakes up and then he cannot get sleep, he becomes agitated. That can cause cardiac arrhythmia. So alprazolam, that is one of the reasons must not be prescribed. Maybe some alternative has to be given. What about oxazepam? Supposed to be better? No. It has got only one advantage for those but persons but 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 compensation. Because it's a simply metabolic breakdown product yes. of all vegetables broken down to oxygen pump, final product. That's why those who are having compromised liver function, there it would be of some use. Otherwise, this thing is said you are using alcohol. What about using non benzodiazepine group, for example, yeah, Zolpidem? Zolpidem is a, it's not an anxiolytic, it is more of a, a sleep inducer. We can call it hypnotic, not anxiolytic. But at the same time, I think it has been it has been shown 
that none of these anti-angiolytic drug, it doesn't actually increase the cardiovascular mortality in general. But many times it has been shown that many physicians, not the psychiatrist, the general physician or even MD physician, they prescribe fluoxetine and alprazolam together. That is that is definitely enhances the cardiovascular risk and cardiovascular mortality. That must be stopped. Combination of antidepressive drug together with an anxiolytic agent is certainly not the good choice for any patient having cardiovascular problem. That is the kind of my sort of understanding of this. What is your uh, I think that's we we'll finish it here. That is the last one. I think it's a very interactive presentation was very helpful because we, we all could participate. I think it's a very good. Lithium as such doesn't produce any cardiac problem. Lithium produces your metabolic disorders. Particularly your uh, diabetes insipidus, no? Oh yes, yes. So th this is called cardiac bradycardia because it has got a sodium like uh, property. So therefore, in, in the but channel, it may block the, the sodium. No, the ischemic heart disease is key stage, is chronic stable angina or unstable angina. The unstable is definitely not a myocardial infarction, definitely not a definitely chronic stable angina, no problem. No, no problem. Because, for example, like, uh, it's, it's basically a kind of sin sinus node or conduction tissue affect affection. So, beta blocker is, has got similar effect. So, I don't think it's got a, it's not going to cause a deleterious effect. But in acute setup, yes, answer is yes, you should not. That is the lithium part of it. I mean, all of this is কিন্তু <laughs> <laughs> হার্টের ওষুধের সাথে পরীক্ষা প্রশ্ন ইউজ করেছে যে কোনটা চুজ করবে আলপোজারাম বলেনি আরে পড়াশোনা করেনি জানো না এটা কি মুশকিল হয়েছে তাকে এটা কোথাও লেখা নেই কিন্তু এটা এসএসআর এর ক্ষেত্রে অনেক রোগী বলে অনেক রোগী বলে যে আমি তো অ্যালপ্রাজোলাম এর জন্য খাচ্ছি না আমি তো এটা হাইপারটেনশন এর জন্য খাচ্ছি আমাকে কার্ডিওলজিস্ট দিন এটা আদার ওষুধ আদার ওষুধ এটা কথা ওইভাবে বলে কারণ অনেক সময় দেখা যায় কি যে এসএসআর এর সাথে যেমন এসিলারোপা আর যদি কার্ডিওলজিক্যালি কিছু জানতে চান আছে